n times n times n equals 27 divided by 8, solving for all values of n that satisfy this equation. So let's multiply this left hand side, which is n times n times n, and that is n to the power of 3 equals 27 divided by 8. I can have 27 as 3 to the power of 3, and also I can have 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So from here, I have n power 3 equals 27, which is 3 power 3, divided by 8, which is 2 power 3. From here, if you have a power c divided by b power c, the exponent are the same. You can have it as a divided by b raised to the power of c. So what we are going to have is n power 3 equals 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3. Next step is to move this over here and equate everything to 0. We have n power 3 minus 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3 equals 0. Now, if you have a power 3 minus b power 3 equals a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b power 2, and your a is n and b is 3 over 2. So applying that identity here, you have for a minus b, you have n minus 3 over 2 times for a squared, that will be n squared plus for a d, that will be n times 3 over 2 plus for b squared, that will be 3 over 2 raised to the power of 2, and this equals 0. From here, I have n minus 3 over 2 times this is n squared plus this is 3n divided by 2 plus 3 power 2 is 9 divided by 2 power 2 is 4, and this equals 0. We can decide to equate each of these to 0. We have n minus 3 over 2 equals 0. We also have n squared plus 3n divided by 2 plus 9 over 4 equals 0. To solve this first equation, I move this over here. I will simply have n equals 3 over 2. That is my n1. This is a quadratic equation that we are going to solve for the other values of n. Now before we do that, let's just rewrite it. There is n squared plus 3n divided by 2 plus 9 divided by 4 equals 0. This is over 1. The common LCM is 4. 4 divided by 1, 4, 4 times n squared, this is 4n squared plus 4 divided by 2, 2, 2 times 3n, that is 6n plus 4 divided by 4, 1, 1 times 9, we have 9, and this equals 0. This over 1, we can cross multiply, the 4 will multiply the 0, so we have 4n squared plus 6n plus 9 equals 4 times 0, that is 0. So this is a quadratic equation that we are going to solve using the formula method. The formula, we have n equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. We compare this to the general quadratic equation, which is a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And your a is 4, b is 6, c is 9. So, from here we have n equals negative b, that is negative 6, plus or minus square root of b squared, that is 6 power 2, minus 4 times a, that is 4 times c, that is 9, 
divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 4. From here, n equals negative 6 plus or minus square root of the 6 squared here is 36 minus 4 times 4, that is 16, and 16 times 9, that is 144 divided by 8. From here we have n equals negative 6 plus, I mean the square root of 26 minus 144 is negative 108 divided by 8. From here you have n equals negative 6 plus or minus, we have square root of negative 1 times square root of 108 divided by 8. From here we have n equals negative 6 plus or minus. This square root of negative 1 here is iota, that is imaginary number i. Square root of 108, I can express it as 36 times 3 divided by 8. So from here you have n equals negative 6 plus or minus i times this will be square root of 36 times square root of 3 divided by 8. From here, you have n equals negative 6 plus or minus i times square root of 36 is 6 times root 3 divided by 8. 3 can divide this, or 2 can divide this 3, 2 divide this 3, to divide this 4. We have n equals negative 3 plus or minus i times 3 root 3 divided by 4. I can decide to factor out 3 over 4. I have n equals 3 over 4 of negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. We have two complex values for n. I have my n2 equals 3 over 4 of negative 1 plus i root 3. I also have my n3 equals 3 over 4 of negative 1 minus i root 3. These are the two complex values for n. And the real value for n is 3 over 2. So we can check. We have n times n times n equals 27 divided by 8. And our n is 3 over 2. Meaning we are going to substitute 3 over 2 for n here. And that means we are going to have 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 equals 27 divided by 8. Multiply the numerator, 3 times 3 times 3. This is 27 divided by 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8. And this equals 27 divided by 8. Left hand side equals right hand side. So this is it guys, this is how you can solve this, thank you and goodbye.